Oh now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperator Rome Invictus Sogdia here on the Lord Master Channel. And this is it. In the last episode. The very last episode of this long running series the which is my first <laughs> let me tell you it was the first Imperator Rome series that I've come to return to in a few years back when it was you know in older versions and it was my first time on Invictus which really brought me back here in the first place of all <laughs> these sort of things and especially towards this idea of um it's like hey you should do it since I'm known for my Sogdian playthroughs playthroughs and other games like Crusader Kings 2 and I uh, did one for three at Crusader Kings 3 even though it was more Egypto Sogdian because of, and it wasn't in you know Sogdian itself like this Sogdiana proper although one day I will do a Sogdian series on Crusader Kings 3 a proper one not over in Egypt but over there but that's probably gonna be a long time before that's happened like I would wait until there's a flare pack for that but that's a entirely different thing altogether um, to know what the hell I'm talking about for those who watch my paratorial videos and none of anything else well I should check these out anyway but anyways this is going to be likely be our final borders for Sogdia. This big swath of land leaving behind a few enclaves that I can't really take back because I'm in no mood of finding another war against the Persian Kingdom or against this entity which broke off. Huh, I wonder. This is just me trying to be... It's like, it's like yeah I have a no cap spell I would what if I threaten the war and says, hey, give me that, and then he'll give in, because look how massive we are. Nearly 9,000 of the populations here. Although, of those territories that we recently conquered in the war against the Shunga, we took a whole lot of Hindus in, so the old state religion of ritualistic is now but a, becoming a tiny minority. And, uh, and thus we took a big swath of Hindu peoples in. Where if you want to, if you wish, you could embrace Hinduism if you have a thing, such as the new pantheon, but we don't need for that. And uh, among other things. Besides the, all that, again, this is the last episode, so our focus, of, our main focus, is to get the aggressive expansion down faster. There's a way to do that. Get back to appeasing, and this will get it down faster each month, so we can solve those little issues. Don't worry, peace has been called. War is over. And who knows how much our manpower that we'll get now. Any amount of political influence that we'll have. But I do know for certain. As we will be lowering the fleet maintenance and the fort maintenance. Because war is over. So we'll be getting a lot of money now. So we can start building buildings. And maybe a metropolis or two. As everybody's going to go home. Recover. And to take care of the provinces that we hold. And in subsequent years, I will watch over my children, watch them grow up and all that. Gee, already an original thinker. You're a bright one, aren't you? Good. Anyways. We did not take areas like Matura. And since, you know, we enter the areas where there's Jainism, you cannot convert to Jainism. 
even if you were to let me see find the Jane yeah here these areas that we took that are Jane holy sites I mean it's like yes you could switch a pantheon but I don't think you can convert to those as far as I'm concerned but it's too bad that we kind of fell short of reaching Puntly Putra of the areas that we've conquered. But we did take a big chunk out of uh, the area of Moru and of Madhidesa, which now we have controlled more of the population of Madhidesa than Shunga does. Yeah, what else? Before we finally get time taken on. Obviously, it's not going to increase unless you integrate the people there, which I will not do that. The main focus now is to um, keep this country together. Keep it together and make sure that nobody kills each other. Do. So we're all going home now. And get some stone over here. After all this time that I've spent on the war, we could turn this into a metropolis very soon. And those other areas that we took. Lower the fort. Thirty-six BC, and let's use this time to um, proclaim empire because this series wouldn't be complete. Look at that. my popular is ninety-three. You've reached a requirement. You have to get above ninety to have this decision acted. Bahuman, resplendent. Bahuman the second, resplendent in glory of conquest, has eclipsed all other petty kingdoms. A new title was needed for the ruler of the Sogdian Empire. I'll take that stability drop. We'll have an empire form going, in which you get to have one idea each. Category. Plus, the bonus active has been national save output. Well, that's to change now. So let's add in some ideas here. Things stable everywhere. So provincial loyalty goes up. Central spaces. Again, we picked elite soldiers, so over reliance on reactor, which leaves a nation at great risk of invasion, coup, or collapse. A well trained standing army is sure to protect against these threats. Central urban spaces. Enlargement and renovation of the central form of our capital will provide additional civic building opportunities. It is paramount importance that our subjects are proud of their capital. For oratory. I think on integrated culture, happiness would also be good. Because we know we got a lot of them in our empire. But let's make it some strategic propaganda. By coordinating lines of communication with key members of the political, religious, and civic spheres, we have the perfect tool to manipulate popular opinion. And finally, religious ideas. 
ônibus. There are no disloyal characters right now, so don't need that. Let's continue on with the Zoroastrian legacy with institutional positivism. By uh, demanding our religious kind of mandate active, we should find that much of the work in converting pagans is done for us. When you have all these active, war score costs reduced while increasing the output of national slaves as well as free. So there you have it. It is a Sogdian Zoroastrian Empire of Sogdia. <sighs> now let's make some money. As long as it isn't against me. And yeah, instability. There might be some stability issues in the long run, but. This is why we gotta get this down fast. Get security. Head to here. Distributing you to a couple of different places. Even the huge Ptolemaic dinosaur. In fact, I thought we were to... How much do you have? Okay, the Roman Kingdom is... is slightly bigger than ours, territory-wise. But they do not have the population like we do. Especially taking over the Indian territories. Go reunite with your elephants. Gandhara, be stationed there. Amalia, you'll be stationed down here. And here comes Pandya. Pick up the pieces of what's left of Shunga. So they're likely going to take all this. But I'm not going to give them access unless they're going to find a way around and then Actually, no, they will not take the northern areas. Where is Bactriana going to be stationed at? Probably down here as well. Oh, would you look at this? This place used to be called on. Um, Indra Prasthana. Now it's renamed Dili, which is an Iranian name for it, Persian name for it. Giving everybody harsh treatment. I think they'll be well behaved. In fact, check um, canals, for example. Which this area has been depopulated, heck. It used to be a much larger city, but they're gone now. Actually, you'll be stationed in Dili.
Obvious is obvious. We can never solve that little issue here. I mean, not everything is perfect regarding the Empire of Sogdia. Scandia. While occasionally rakish and much tendencies, uh, are well known throughout the upper circles of Samarkand. No one is quite prepared for the public slew of allegations leveled at him as of late. There are growing rumors of the terrible indecencies perpetuated on the slaves of debauched gatherings honor the god of wine, where he and his lewd entourage exhibit and debased their latest acquisitions from the Emporia of Gabe. He denies everything in the most strange terms, claiming that tales to be lies engineered by his political opponents. The gossip is backed by several witnesses who kind of besmirched by him personally. Slaves and virtuous citizens across Sogdiana are demanding government sanctioned justice to deter these excesses. We can no longer ignore the situation. I'll spend it. We'll conduct a full and fair investigation into this matter. These places of these national decisions, including those within India. Though there is still much work to be done in gathering testimony and exploring specific crimes, both religious and temporal, that he may have committed. Primary findings point heavily to his guilt. While the investigation is not complete, some suggestion that he prematurely detained in order to be to ensure that he does not try to escape justice. Also undoubtedly distressed the family even further. Leave no stone unturned. Justice will be done. I am reminded. Make that the provincial capital. Needs another commercial district. You got it. I know I touched that earlier today. The city guards sent to arrest him at his villa outside Samarkand and bring him to court found the place deserted. It would seem the coward fled Sogdia at dawn with the majority of his wealth and seeks refuge of friends abroad. While the investigation succeeded in booting out and ending his reign of uh, virginity, uh, the slaves will no doubt resent our having allowed Alex to escape justice. The guards did, however, fortunately come across a portion of what left behind. Our income is excellent, right? so I'll just say free his slaves and give them the money. Speaking of which, no, not you. Slaves in, and then you got it. Bingo. Build an aqueduct and upgrade this. I'm willing to spend most of it. So we'll turn that into a metropolis. Of these places we conquered, do any of them have higher populations that I could work on? Think so. Course down here.
build that here, then we're golden. Pandya just took a big chunk out of them. And where's the ruler now? Now Potliputra is the capital of Shunga. I'm sure Moria would want a piece of that back. But they're busy right now. Fighting a war that started. citizens left uh, Carmenia to settle down in a uh, vast Akasa settlement uh, to get more used to ways to learn for citizens. We hope Casa will be able to advance to become more civilized as well. After all, it's just part of the agreement we made with the Salt tribe. Hopefully they will learn. They better damn well be. Otherwise, there's going to be hell to pay. Commercial district finished. What are we missing? Give him another. Give her this and add that. That Michigan fleet. I actually thought of another one, but I need to save up political influence and money for this. I know what I'm going to do next. I know exactly what I'm going to do next. considerably. Let's improve relations so we can reign good trading partners. While trying to get the aggressive expansion reduced. Where do you get the wine from? Try over there. Where? Down there. Overtaken by some other intents to press Bahuman. A saga to a downworld spiral which we were worried he would never return. You can only pray that fake smiles kind on him. Ah, he's depressed. As I said, as great as the accomplishment was as to be an emperor, but... You know, living a life of an emperor is and all these things. I mean, he's a nice guy. You know, and all that. He's a... Again, the man is an original thinker. He's content, submissive, self control of good nature. I mean, he's a real nice guy, but... Not everything it is, so. There we go. It's complete. Stabilize and grow Moru. This will be our last mission. What shall we work on now that we have all this? Ah. Get rid of this fortress. And we're in business. That's step one. 
Alexandria endured to be a metropolis? Oh my goodness! Why is this not a metropolis yet? I don't have the political influence, but damn, we gotta work on that sooner or later. And in the meantime, get a commercial district. And of course, get another library. And then you have this side done. Go for the food. Import the horses. Oh yeah, we'll definitely get this all done in a few years. But don't forget that it needs granary buildings, so... We got all these free problems with nine of them, so get to work! Recent passing of this person here. Yeah. That man was the honor guard. I remember him. He was one of the good guys, I think. Or was that banana? Oh, forget. He's a great guy, right here. So, the recent passing of this has caused a widespread interest among the court, uh, amongst the population at large. It's considerable fortune of such a magnitude, even after settling the various steps that he owed. Not a number of claims that come forward, hoping to secure themselves a windfall. One such claimant, Ryun, uh... No, 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 you're thinking of the old Ryun from long ago. So has supported the number of other wealthy patrons from around our Sogdia. That is why they considered to be the rightful heir to a fortune. Nonetheless, we must make a decision in the best interest of the state. She has no power base, so... Split it equally among its claims, including the state. You know, we need the money. Behold, the edifice of Saravan is completed. At last, our hard work has finally come to fruition. The construction of this magnitude is an achievement in itself, but also the interior is decorated with the finest artwork produced by our people. It truly represents our nation's grandeur and might in a way no one else could. It is truly a glorious sight. Chu must go to the genius of our ruler. Stability up. to get it up to a hundred. Once, let's have the population happen as often. The reason for that is it's just to get the high, the score up even higher for the total pop, scoring pop happiness. So I have to call upon that omen from then on out for the remainder of the 
this episode, of this final episode of Sogdian. It's a good thing that we became Zoroastrian. That would not uh, What do you want? Now anyways, the Ari of Mananda, that's down the guard. He's one of the finest in all Sogdian. None of us he's issued a demand for additional soldiers paid for in the from the Royal Congress. Recent rumors betray Menander and must have paid with life. I should begin to wonder where his true loyalties lie. Could we be planning something? Grant this request. Almost a 200,000 maximum manpower. Wonderful. Oh, why not? I'll take the stability hit for this. It'll become a bit unstable here, but it'll be worth it. Because we need this to, uh... Alexandria Ultra's prospect. Our colossal construct has unexpected benefits of Alexandria Ultra. It is now pure for it to traverse the market district to see delighted citizens possible. We anticipated that morale would be strengthened in the region, but to this extent, no one imagined. This gives a great opportunity to capitalize on the momentum we now have. This is the big of our nation who will look here for guidance. Okay, now we're somewhat stable again. <laughs> Go. It's just where we want it. Alexandria and Doy, is that correct? And once you get that then, then you get to have two library buildings. You already have one. It's district, yes. And then all that, and then you're gold. Alrighty then. Another metropolis coming up. What is a command of prestigious armor is presented to be acknowledged officially as a man of recognized noble stature? This sudden and outrageous demand is covered by public proclamation by the of the royal house. It surely harms our standing to see this demand. We are bound by circumstance. Don't worry about that. It'll be done by 32 BC. Grand Festival. A stunning display of generosity. Toka, a well loved member of our religious institutions, commissioned a grand festival out of his own pocket. All right, for two years. Integrated culture happiness. We can never get that wine from anywhere. Governor of Ariana. Give them this. This hurts our legitimacy even more. That's one. And where's the other disgruntled family member of theirs? There aren't any. No 
wonder, you're all bloody old folks. Spending some time in deep melancholic depression, Bahu Man has emerged finally able to laugh and act his old self. It's good to have him back. See, not everything is black and white here. Well, Chuda Shunga himself. Well, you may be a ritualistic man who's Kuruk, but you'll do. Just don't screw it up. Regarding stability issues. Alrighty. Give me a naval trait. Sea dog. I just wanted to get that martial skill up, that is all. I don't think it matters now about which character to focus I'm gonna get myself into. We're almost done with this series anyway. My main priority right now is to keep the country stable, keep everybody happy a lot of money and um, long other things. There's that exiled navy of theirs. Travel neighbor to enjoy start investing a lot of, of their treasury to open up the borders between our two nations. Hopefully this will prove beneficial for us well, although their tribes are somewhat more unruly than we are used to. We should keep Jake away in mind, make it prove good friends in the future as well. Surely only good things can come with us. Let us hope this friendship will be worth it. At this point, we're pretty much ill-prepared for war because of our positioning. You want to become rich? Oh, I wouldn't do that. That's corruption. You don't want to let that go to your head, but... I will actually give you treatment. Because you still got that infection of yours. You don't want to have that. Come on, one second. Word has reached just an anyways, but spreading dangerous rhetoric that causes the question of Ahuman's right to rule. Challenging him on the grounds of both efficiency and, mor and morality. She could cause a widespread descent of these claims not dealt with. They ignore her wild claims. I told you, don't worry about the legitimacy. Everything's fine. He 
may put a damper on my reputation, but still. That decision. Oh, he could vary. And instead of becoming rich, you want to be what? Actually, I'd rather have you be rich. Study and orientation and commerce, but look at the tutor first. That's fine. What is the bureaucracy? Finesse. That's what I'm finesse. Like. Go for bureaucracy, son. I'd rather have you be a bureaucrat than just be plain rich. Because if something happens to me as I'm 57, you could say that we'll be entering to a golden age. And it's a wonder that I am recording this episode. When I look at the calendar, which on this day of recording, it was on May 22nd. And that is the beginning of International Trade Awareness Week. So says my calendar. And who does international trade better than the Sogdians of the Silk Road at that time? Spend big money on that. Buster, sycophants, claimants, pretenders. There's a little surprise there for the two of the most ambitious claimants to throw and saga found themselves at odds. These conflicts are a way of getting out of hand. Perhaps you ought to step in and limit the potential for escalation. Chosen heir? Oh yeah, you were one long ago. Side with her, the chosen hand. You know, my sister could have been the one to be partaking in that whole war against Shunga. But instead, I was chosen because the people said so. We 
We haven't done this in a while. Song Dan Emporium. And I know where exactly that I want to put it. Over there. It's the last time we're doing that. That's a Song Dan thing to do. Alexandria of the Indus, or Alexandria Indoi, is about to become a metropolis. Crisis in Tandia. Is that so? going to take another year for the Sogdian settlement. And then we get this, and then we're done. Settlement policy in Alexandria and always attracted the attention, especially amongst the uh, classes of the soldiers in the army. Megan, use of the promise of free land, uh, arrived in Alexandria and Doy, seeking to make new life for themselves and their families. Just the type of settlers we need. the governor who's this long. All that money we save, let's produce horses from down there. Simply for the sake of it. Because there's plenty of them here. all of it. Otherwise they would have become whatever's the uh you know, one to talk about. A group of soldiers belonging to the army commanded by Menanda while stationed on peaceful deployment have scouted in order to pillage in the nearby city of uh, Dili. In what is more concerning is that Menanda is refusing to punish his legions, cited extreme loyalty as a reason. We are left in the disagreeable position, having to choose between forcing our general to crucify his own soldiers, or appearing weak and soft, but we can't help feel that he knows precisely what he's doing. Must be decimation. Rome is at war in a first ever Roman civil war. So that makes him Julius Caesar, one would think. And then um, this is the man who is the dictator. And Carthage is about to have yet another civil war. Like Rome, it's also a dictatorship. Man. Since when... And Carthage is expanding more into... The lands of uh, it's heading to Galicia. Chimney Christmas. 
song. Set so up in the wall. Right, since this is a metropolis now, why don't you have that grand theater? I'm gonna see people are starving yourselves. Get some grain. One, two, three. And when we raise a little money, I'll be sure to build a farmer's market. Because I would hate it. What to... We have received word from our chief builders that a new Sogden Emporium has been completed. Even now, a mere days after the construction is finished, hundreds of citizens have flocked to the new district where chaotic sights and, and smells in the market, exotic spices are waving through the crowded streets of tiny shops selling grilled meat and pottage. Or pottage, excuse me. Loud voices arguing over prices next to booths overflowing. Where stacks of embroidered textiles and fine silk, a plate of livestock and birds in cages have overwhelmed all senses. This is wonderful news. So you just want to add the local tax from over there. No, not that dummy. You're limited to one. Oh, no, no, it's, it's just you don't have the money. Excuse me. Always with the not enough money. You can never have enough. I knew there was something a bit off. No farming settlements. There's none of that up there, too. That's farmland. How do you... Huh. Okay. Done. And done. Uh, Send complete. I don't suppose that... Oh, it needs a fort. God dog it. Take these down. Me and my skewed priorities. I'm looking. It doesn't work like that. Who got caught red-handed? Hold in front of the court. This is a sorry sight. Caught at a rusty spike in hand. He said to be ready to strike down areas in a brutal act of violence. Luckily, passerbys were quick enough to act to prevent this uh, terrible deed. Now we have the unable task of passing judgment on the wicked man. We shouldn't be too hasty about that. He did a bad, he did a silly thing. For ongoing attempts to woo the highly skilled statesman who is, it was counter to hitch. By being a true man of the people, he decided to vest the creation of a beautiful monument to please the Sogdian people. To complete this mammoth task, requires a large number of able-bodied souls. If, if, we're able, if we were to provide such assistance, you would surely be in our debt. Why not?
you know how much these costs each? Save up some money. But do keep the higher stability up. More happier pups, the higher the score. Oh, we finally colonized that last piece of land that's always been, you know, never really been part of Sargana until now. Oh, hell, why the hell not? Because you see this thing? Increased pay? Maybe if we can decrease the pace since we're not fighting any more wars anymore, that'll make the integrated cultures a little more happy. We'll make even more money. So why the heck not? This is the era of peace from then on out. Say look, they're getting on with the decreased pay. Three years left. The people of Alexandria Scotta are our first ever metropolis from way back when. It's raised a large statue of our esteemed ruler. Though the statue is lacking in points, in points, certain important areas, it would not be taken well if we were to rip it down. If we leave the statue up, let hope it does not get too well known. This could be somewhat of an insult to the monarch. We are grateful for the yes, son of the nation. So, I'll take the popularity hit. Oh, depressed. That's why it's down a bit. Depression, unfortunately, kind of runs in the family. Simply for the sake of it. Let's get the property tax. We were never into the taxation thing. We were more into commerce. Sogdians are not well known for their taxation. They rather make money off of trade rather than taxation. Little things, I believe. No. That didn't take long. <laughs> Two more years. Wait a minute. Get rid of that. Who built that slave estate? Previous owners, obviously. You see, this is why we took Pankov. All this farmland. It kind of attracts the idea that the possible, you know, like if I were to do actually give me some money I need more farms okay there's one that's already built good there you got your farms give them the two granaries Sounds like that idea of a possible, um, again, I'm thinking about, if I were to ever come back to um, Imperatorum Invictus for another playthrough in the far future, so, who knows where it'll be. 
I mean, I'm kind of slightly attracted to the idea of somewhere in India, but I wouldn't know where. Obviously, I wouldn't be in the mornings. I mean, look what they ended up. I wouldn't want to be playing as them where... It's, if you get, like, after a Shokan Agreed, then it all goes to hell. And then you're going to try to rebuild it from the ground up. I mean, it's a good challenge, but... You may never know if South India arises in power. As they got their act together. And Pandya never became the Dravida Kingdom. Which a South Indian place sounds like a bit of an idea in itself. Five years have passed since we celebrated the completion of the Empress of Sarawan for the first time. It feels like a natural part of our nation. Life without it seems unimaginable now. With some support of the state's coffers, the celebrations have sprung up that could provide a welcome diversity of commoners. That's just only in the province, but give them the support that they need. And it recently added parts of Arabia and it also got its own mission trees. Just like the mission trees from many other nations in India. Need a new chancellor. So there's no more aggressive expansion. Actually, did you just pick a man with very low statesmanship? You dummy. That could be a potential of a instability. The greatest threat to English comes from within. A constant advice between those who name themselves there can consume countless resources and lives. Our spies at court said that in a way, a woman who has made no secret of her ambition is probably to ensure her future by doing away with the competition. We ought to keep a watchful eye on him. He's now the new primary heir. But unfortunately, he picked up harsh. Not what I had in mind. But that's the way it's going to be. And there she is. She's plotting quietly. She's doing something that isn't nice. Needs another library. Well, we're gonna get the two libraries. It needs a. Look at that. Court of Law. All these sort of things. She's been spending increasing quantities of time with our beloved heir, Rash. These two are natural enemies, so it might be wise to be particularly careful with this developing situation. Unfortunately, we're unable to acquire much information on what the two conspirators are discussing. Troubling. That's all I gotta say about that. Keep the happiness up for the score. Granary up. Emboldened by support, she has approached San Provence and demanded we favor a firing gift. Clearly tends to anger with us, a uh, fellow claimant of the throne. Why would we waste resources on such a pointless individual? Who did he ever beat? Than anybody. Mm. At a recent feast, of all subject was making merry when he fell mysteriously and suddenly ill. I suspect it might have been poisoned by the sick of those due to his competition mm. for the throne. If we value his life at all, we should seek assistance immediately. Bring a holy man at once. 
And he's dead. No, no, no. Neither of these two could speak to our name. I know who we could find. Don't you worry. These things tends to happen. My son, you're in the army now. Got that handled. I just can't get wine over here. <laughs> That's the saddest thing about Sogdia as a whole. There's not enough wine for all of us. My sister making trouble again. That's all the Kandara. Holy crud! Get some food relief right now. That winter's been rough. Akadok and Court of Wall, remember that. Murder! Oh, it's this man. He was found brutally murdered in, in his home just last night. The investigators reported the wicked pike was used a gun. A device known to be favored by Samtish the Indian, they call him. However, we have no hard evidence to link it to the gun. Well, to watch out for that man. Let us all know that we consider him guilty. He did a bad thing and we know he's done it. Otherwise, I would have said, I don't know how you's done it, but you's done it! Just being a bit silly at this point of this end of the series. <laughs> but anyways, our final full year. And then this playthrough ends, and we can end that series on a... I was about to say mostly happy notes, but someone just got murdered just now. And we got an unruly little sister of mine. <laughs> Which she should have been the Empress of Sogdiana, but... Not like that, not with that kind of attitude. It takes about a year to get it done, so this will not be finished in time, unfortunately, but hey, at least it gives you the idea of what we've been doing as a whole. Can't we just end on a happier note? Everybody's doing something here. But unfortunately, it is a part of average day in a Sogdian court. So ordinarily, we'd simply ignore such petty squabbles. However, on this occasion, the esteemed of Agathorkis uh, was found for the director of his lover, Rash. Wait, what? Phrase that again. This man was found with his lover. Oh, that's different uh, by his spouse. Chat this to spouse overcoming his first appeal to have uh, a his strippers off as punished for his brazenly public vice. I don't want to have that chance for him to be destroyed. He's the head of the family.
So I'll just say we shouldn't tolerate public infidelity. That's quite a name for a Greco-Indian. What was that man's name? He's the family head. I think I found a spot for you. Hang on. Actually, no. You were fired and then you're not fired. Just a spider. Sister could stop scheming. For long. Achoo! That was a week snooze. Oh, Nazia collapses again. This was part of that, but now it just broke down. So, news reached by word of mouth that the once, positive, once powerful um, Kanazjian has fallen to internal bickering to strife with once of power struggles. Numerous local chieftains have risen from the ashes of the crisis, perhaps holding opportunities in their watchful neighbors. The Kanazjian still retain a nominal leadership of some desperate clients, desperately clinging to their laughable hegemony. Barbarians. It's a good thing we never ever have to get to fight them. Why didn't we have this? Build time. See how this difference makes. Reducing the build time. Why didn't we have that before? And of course, like with everything else, we just gotta wait for a few months, a month to register. Doesn't seem to be a, a change of the number of days of when it'll be done. No, they're the same. So let's just zoom out the map of the world of how it looks. Especially here in Sogdia, it's our final borders, as we're on the final month. Here we go, the end of this series. There goes the family head. There's nothing you can do about that family of yours. Philosopher. I'll give you this. Okay. So we're on officially the end date, but it has to go beyond that end date. And then the uh, game plays over. Which in the meantime. Import a few horses in here. So. We got this simultaneously. Actually, there's no way we can import them. Son of a beeswax. Ha! Huh. Okay. Maybe we want to forget about that part. We could get this finished. We can get this done. While we would could try to build these buildings in the meantime.
so after 27 uh you see then then the gameplay's finished i believe i mean that's the usual case i've only gone through a full time of the playthrough once yeah once way back in the old Massalia series Speaking of Masai, it doesn't even exist in the map, or did Rome swallow it up? Ah, Rome did it. Yeah. By the way, it's not called Rome, it's Roman Kingdom. Not Empire. King. We are an Empire, they're not. these two buildings built but I don't think we could get that done in time unfortunately but hey I made a great effort <sighs> Moria just revolted I just saw that popped up so uh Just keep going with Civic. More money is always good. Just want to be rich and happy. Rich and happy. Such a hogged in thing to say. Too bad I never became a plutocratic monarchy. That would have been fun, but obviously we we were bound by mission and other priorities. So we can't win them all. Also, we haven't took a look at the religion in a while. Almost 50% Zoroastrian. While Hindu just fell below 20. And our former state religion ritualistic is now reduced to 9%. Excellent conditions in uh, Hadragas. Where? Zoom in a bit. It's over there. That is part of Gedrosia. What have I had with the coincidences? The blessings of God's fortune or just diligent management? For the past year, production and settlement of uh, Hadragas has far surpassed the predictions of local bureaucrats and administrators. While we could simply exploit these boons for short term gain, some have suggested that it's an opportunity to study the Organization of slaves in Hydrarchus, though by all accounts are unusually satisfied and productive bunch. An attempt to apply to less cross, cross the province of Gedrosia. Alternatively, we could simply allow wherever fortune Hydrarchus enjoys to run its natural course without interference. <laughs> I'm going to be this cheapskate here. Well, not cheapskate, but you know what I mean. Make most of this stroke a good fortune. I'll be more than happy to take the money. I mean, look at me. Besides the state funds, but look at the personal wealth. And yes, I'm a tad bit corrupt as well. But... <laughs> Richest man in the world. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, look at the other strong nations in the world. Are there others who are richer? Not Parantaka. The dictator himself, he ain't personally rich. What about uh, the uh, Basilis, the Macedon? He's got wealth. Okay, what about the Basilis? Carthage? Okay, they're richer. Richest nation of the West. Just by assumption. Obviously, those tribal kingdoms. Actually, no, they're not tribal. That's a theocratic monarchy, the High Queen they call it. And Arvenia is a democratic republic, as he's the Archon over there. And yes, they're at war. One would think it's the old Anglo-French war again, but they're not either of those people. <laughs> Never ends, does it? 
Megas Basilis, they call him. Theocratic monarchy as well. No one could forget Kush, the most overlooked nation out of all. Theocratic monarchy. Not rich either. So, there's Shunga, which they still got a lot of wealth. They've been sitting there like fat cats. So now it's official. I am the richest man in the world. And that's in personal wealth. Take a drink. Although you should have looked up all the countries by looking up all the top ten nations, but I think I just practically did. I did look up all the top ten. So there you have it. That's the series. Really happy with the high score that I just did. Um, I recall there was supposed to be a little screen that was supposed to pop up. Um, prosperity. No need for gold. There was supposed to be a little thing to pop up, but I'll end it just the way it was supposed to traditionally of this, uh, of any Imperator on playthrough. But, you know what, let me end it by completing this mission first. This core law is about to be finished in Dilly. Coming this May. Because if this was vanilla, it should be over right now. But it isn't. But I'll end it when, uh, when I'll complete this mission. Because honestly... I'm tired. I don't want to do anymore. I've done everything that I wanted to do. And, um, and all that. So it's April now. And then, um, here comes the month of May. And then we'll complete the mission. And then I will officially put an end to this series. Right here. Good men. Look, no more. And I would not even dream about going to Scythia knowing what's out there. I mean, it's only for this part anyway, but... If you... No matter where you go, the last year will kick your tail. There's that many out there. So, um, again, um, I do want to wrap up that series in the traditional way. I mean, the gameplay is supposed to end on 27 BC, but I guess in Invictus, that's not the case. But, but actually, I want this to be over. And anything more subsequently is just going to be, I don't know. And plus, I have been playing this on, to tell you the truth, I've been playing this Songdian playthrough on an older version of Invictus. So a new version's already come out, in which, you know, they had Arabia, they had some changes in India, Ilaria as well, and a couple of other places as well. So that's why I think we should just end this right now. We should stop. And if I were to come back to Imperator Roman Victus for another playthrough. I'll think about where. I mean, don't give me any suggestions, um, as I often say. Just don't give me any ideas or suggestions. Um, it's all, it's a matter of interest more than anything else, gameplay-wise, and what the mission would look like of what I should do from here on out. I accomplished everything there is to do in Saga, including improving all the provinces that we recently took over and all that. So that's how we're going to settle here. This is our final score here. And then um, this is the amount of territories that I control with 658. Although I've 
I've gone a little further than that in older playthroughs, I believe. Especially with Thebes at one time. And a number of pops. Well, actually, look at the nation. 28% of it is Bactrian, but 21% of those are Sogdians. Just barely under 50% for Zoroastrians. All that. 45% of the country are slaves. We got plenty of Freeman and citizens and all that. And it's a wonder how we started this playthrough from episode one, where you had some, by you, I mean me, where I had a bit of apprehension about doing a Sogdian playthrough. It's like, yeah, I love playing as the Sogdian culture and in a few other games that I did. And uh, and now doing this here in Pertrome, you've realized that their heritage, their defensive intensive, I mean, that's good. And they're known for their national commerce because, you know, people of the Silk Road. But that diplomatic relations was a huge handicap. One ally is an ally too many, if you're playing as Sogdian. Um, so yes, it's a wonder how we originally started from an area that's from Chach and Talas. So we go from these two areas to this. It's nothing short of a miracle. And we even survived two different occasions of foreign invasions, of horde invasions. The first one was tougher, but the second one was a lot easier, even though they were mostly leaderless, to be fair. I mean, uh, but honestly, I was in the zone, so I kind of didn't really care as much as I wanted it to threat as soon as possible and all that. Um, but also, um, as I will wrap up this series um, here, Again, I've recorded this episode, this final episode, on the 22nd of May. And so, this period of time, I've been taking a prolonged break from video recordings of any kind. And the next time that there will be a video series here on the Loremaster channel, it's going to be from Crusader Kings 3. It's going to be with that Tours and Tournaments DLC. And as well as all the other mods that I like to use that are to be up to date. And a real question that some of you might be thinking is, well, where are you going to be playing at next? That I do not know. I'm kind of divided on two different playthroughs. Two completely different playthroughs of two different continents. Where I feel that it's like, man, I would love to do this, seri this series on this area or a series on that area um, and all that. In many different parts of the world that may fascinate me. And all that but uh, who knows you just have to wait and see ladies and gentlemen you just have to wait and see so again this has been the Sogdia series and the next time that you'll ever see the Sogdians in the Warmaster channel just assume they're gonna be on Crusader King Street possibly next year or two years or who knows I still await for that day for a Sogdian flavor pack uh, for uh, from the rice mod uh, of Crusader Kings 3. Again, it's all in that context. And uh, and don't be surprised if I ever return to Imperatorum Invictus for another playthrough. And hopefully I'll do it just as great as I did with the Sog deals, which were, again, from the difficulty standpoint when you start a mission, it was under very difficult difficulty very hard or hard it's one of these difficulties so we overcame the odds here. we did all this so well, I hope you people have enjoyed this long-running series and I am so ready to take a break now and I will return in a couple of weeks or so or who knows for Savior King Street and I don't know when I'll be back for another playthrough for to Roman Victus. But one thing is for certain, things will get a little bit more interesting and all that. So, so. Oh yeah, this is Lord Master saying, so long for now. <laughs>